Hey, what's going on guys? Jay here from EasyBladeShavingProduct.com. Welcome to our flagship store. I know we're usually in my warehouse, but today we're gonna show you guys how to adjust your Andis Master machine. Let's get into it. All right guys, so all you're gonna need today is a screwdriver and your Andis Master. Now you can use these same steps if you have an Andis cordless machine or if you have an Andis wired uh, master machine. Either way, you're good. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna just loosen up these two screws here, okay? Now I'm gonna give you guys a bonus tip. So today we're gonna take off, off the blade and I wanna give you guys a, a small bonus tip for you guys before we even start the actual adjustment. You guys are gonna really like this. So when you buy your machine, it, the lever on the side is gonna come off, it's gonna come pretty tight. So what we're gonna do today is, we're just gonna loosen the lever. Now you wanna loosen that lever because you wanna have that nice flicking of the lever when you're fading hair. Now my machine is a little bit hairy from cutting hair. So when you guys wanna loosen this lever, what you're gonna do is, you're gonna slightly loosen these two screws right here and slightly loosen these two screws right here, just a little bit, guys. And that's gonna allow your lever to be a little loose, guys. So when you're, when you're actually cutting hair and you wanna cut someone's hair, you wanna be able to flick the lever back and forth when fading. Now this thing comes stiff out the box, so that's gonna be the first thing you guys wanna do. You wanna loosen that lever. And again, you're gonna adjust these, two, these four screws slightly. Don't take them off, you might mess up your machine. Just slightly open them, and that's gonna allow you to do this. Okay, you're gonna need to do that when you're flicking your wrist and you're fading. You need that nice thumb motion. So you wanna have that nice and loose. So now that we have the blade apart, I wanna show you guys how to put it back together. I don't want you guys to get stuck with the machine taken apart. So you wanna go ahead and just place this black part right in here, okay? Hold it there with these two fingers. You wanna go ahead and put the top blade on and you wanna hold it right there. And you want to put your screws back in your machine. Now that your blade is put back together, make sure that your screws are nice and tight. And then the first thing you want to do is slightly open the screw. Slightly open it, meaning just crack the screw like this. Just a tiny turn, okay? Now what you wanna do is basically, zero gapping is basically lining up the back blade with the front blade, okay? So what you wanna do is now, you can, now you're able to move the blade. If you slightly open this, you're able to move the blade, okay? So you basically wanna line these blades up as perfectly as you can. One trick could be is to put the machine down on a surface like this and press down on it. That can also do it. Uh, a lot of people do it on a mirror, but I like to eye it. I like to put it all the way down as farthest as I can without overlapping this blade. So if you overlap this back blade, which is the moving blade, if you overlap that, that's gonna cut your client or cut you. Uh, so you wanna make sure that this back blade is not overlapping the front blade. So you wanna make sure that's nice and lined up. So as soon as you get that lined up, right where you want it, okay? You wanna go ahead and tighten your screws. So I went ahead and lined it up and tightened my screws. So the next thing you wanna do is Look down your machine, guys. You wanna be looking, close your eyes, squint your eyes, and look down your machine, and make sure that that blade is straight. If that blade isn't straight, you wanna go ahead and loosen it up and make sure that it's straight. Now, the biggest thing about this thing is, guys, you don't want this blade right here to overlap this blade. If this blade overlaps, if the back blade overlaps the front blade, it's gonna cut you or cut your customer, okay? So you wanna make sure that that is straight. Once you got that straight, if you have to adjust it, adjust it. But if not, you're good to go. Your blade is now zero gap. As you guys can see, the blade is totally perfect. Again, Jay here from EasyBladeShavingProducts.com. Hope you guys learned how to zero gap your Andis Master. If you guys need any products, you can always go to our website, EasyBladeShavingProducts.com. I will talk to you guys soon.